In today's video, I'm going to paint this four pepper painting. And while I do it, I'm going to be talking about the idea of analogous color palettes. It's a very simple concept, but it's also extremely powerful. Let's get into it. An analogous color palette is a palette that uses only adjacent colors on the color wheel. So typically it's two or three, sometimes four. I'll be using four this time. So why would you want to even use an analogous color palette? Well, it's quite simple. Analogous colors have a lot in common with each other. And so when they mix, you don't lose vibrancy. By keeping the vibrancy high, you're able to pull the audience's attention toward the subject. This can be especially powerful when you have very large paintings and you want to move the audience's attention from one place to another. You can see here that I've chosen all warm colors. I have two reds, one orange, and two yellows. The reds that I've chosen are Gamblin's Indian Red and Cadmium Red. I'll be using that Cadmium Red as the base color for the peppers, and the Indian Red will be the shadow color when mixed with the Cadmium Red. For the orange, I'll be using that as highlights on the red peppers and as a shadow on the yellow pepper. The base color for the yellow pepper will be Cadmium Yellow Deep, and the highlights on the yellow pepper will be Cadmium Yellow Middle. Okay, this is how I use analogous color palettes. I have a base color, and then I choose one color on the color wheel above it as the highlight, and one color on the color wheel below it as the low light or shadow. Here's an important point I should mention if you are going to try analogous color palette painting. You should use all warm colors or all cool colors when you're choosing your, your color palette. Otherwise, they can muddy. So that's it. That's the analogous color palette. It doesn't have to be complicated to be powerful. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share for more art tips.